guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a bit, I just haven't really had the motivation to film. But today I am back with my top 5 books of my English Literature degree. If you're new around here, I'm Katie and I did English Lit and Philosophy at Cardiff University and I just graduated like a couple of months ago. So I'm going to tell you about the 5 books I enjoyed studying the most while I was at Cardiff. Doing English Lit because we didn't really read that many in Philosophy. So if you are a regular on my channel, you probably know what book is coming first and that is Bridget Jones Diary which is one of my favourite books of all time and I was lucky enough to get to study it last year in second year. So I've loved the films of Bridget Jones for years and when I was younger I did try and read the book but I think I was a bit too young at the time. It was really good to get to read it for class because it showed me things about this book that I wouldn't have spotted otherwise like had I just been reading it by myself. So I actually ended up writing my my formative assessment on this book and I wrote all about how it talks about the timeliness of girls and women and when you look at this book you actually do see that Bridget is a 30 something year old and you can see the societal pressures on her to get married and have kids from not just the older generation but her friends as well so I found that really interesting to actually study this book instead of just reading it for pleasure. Yeah so that was definitely my favourite one that I got to study my three years at Cardiff. The next book on my list of favourite books that I studied at Cardiff Uni is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This is a classic and I'd actually never studied it before this year which I feel is quite surprising. I feel like it's something that a lot of people studied at high school but uh, we did different books at my secondary school. But if you aren't familiar with it, it's about a boy called Holden who is in high school himself. He's at a boarding school and it follows him over the course of a few days after he's just been kicked out of school and he kind of runs away before terms over and has this little adventure in New York and you see him interacting with different characters from his life so previous girls he's been interested in, his like roommate, you also see him interacting with his sister and it's kind of clear from the beginning and the end of the book that he appears to be in a mental hospital. Basically it's showing the stress that teenage life can have on someone and where it can lead to so that was really interesting to see. and also it's a nice short book which I really enjoyed studying short books at uni because they're just so much easier to read and get through. There are a few books that were so fat and heavy that it took me ages to get through them whereas this one's a nice short one that only takes a few hours. So the next book is actually a play rather than a novel and it is Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare and I know this is a very stereotypical one for an English lit student to be like it's one of my top five books but studying this at uni we studied it in first year and I'd already studied it at GCSE but studying it at university just made me love it even more. I'm not really entirely sure why it's my favourite but this is definitely my favourite Shakespeare and I really do love Shakespeare. It's actually the only Shakespeare that I can quote off the top of my head. Doing English Lit you learn a lot of quotes, especially at GCSE and A level you go into exams that are blind so you're not allowed to take books in, or at least that's the exams that we had at my school. So you have to learn a lot of quotes and it's the same in philosophy, I've had to learn a lot of quotes throughout the year and for exams my short term memory is really good for stuff like that, like I can remember and I can recall quotes I study them really really hard like just for the exam and it's always worked but as soon as I get out of the exam my brain just lets them go and this is the only book that my brain has not let go of quotes and I think that's a testament to how good it is. Yeah if you haven't read it or watched it I would highly suggest it. Personally my favourite adaptation some scenes in it the acting isn't incredible but my favourite adaptation is the one with Douglas Booth and Hayley Steinfeld in so I'd recommend giving that a watch, the majority of it is really good. Personally, a controversial opinion but I really don't like the Leonardo DiCaprio version, I don't like when people try and bring Shakespeare into modern day, I don't mind like adaptations but when it's like direct Shakespeare in modern day it just doesn't, doesn't work for me so yeah I'd recommend checking out the Hayley Steinfeld version of the film. So the fourth book on my list is In Air by Charlotte Bronte and we read this in first year and I'm not going to lie to you, in first year I didn't read all of the books. Since then I've read every single set text completely but first year I didn't but this was one of the only ones that I did. And it's about this girl that goes to work at this big like manor house and she ends up falling in love with the guy that owns it basically and it turns out that he actually has his wife locked up 
in the attic which is where the whole like mad woman in the attic thing comes from basically once Jane finds this out she kind of like runs away and then she comes back to the manor after it has been burned down by Mr Rochester's wife and he is then disabled he's blind but yeah they fall in love again so it's quite a nice book it's like all of the Bronte sisters books it's a bit gothic which I really like for my classic literature to be a bit gothic I just think it sets the scene so yeah that's a classic that I would definitely recommend having a read of. So the next book on my list is somewhat controversial because of some of the stuff that takes place in the book and it is a biography and that is Not That Kind of Girl by Lena Dunham. Personally I can see the issues with this book and a lot of people in my class took issues with this book. I'm not going to mention them on here but if you're interested in reading it I do suggest going and doing some research on why it's controversial before you read it. Personally the scenes that are controversial took place when she was a child so I think there's some leeway and apart from that I did enjoy the rest of the book. I find her writing really engaging it's just very like chatty and it's also really interesting to see like her life and her struggles just as basically like a normal girl in today's society. Um, again this was actually in the same module as Bridget Jones which was entitled Girls and it was all about how the media and society views girls and how girls and women are portrayed in the media um, and in books. We also studied like Mean Girls which is really weird to study a film in English but yeah I personally really enjoyed this book and when I studied it it was actually the second time I'd read it. I'd read it once before, um, my own personal enjoyment. I also like how it's kind of like hints of pink on the front and clearly when I was studying it I highlighted it in pink which is kind of the quotes that I uh, was reading so kind of like how I did that. Um, if you would like a video on how I like annotate quotes and basically like tab them up as I do did in Romeo and Juliet and how I choose which quotes I'm highlighting and then what I kind of did with them afterwards as an English lit student and how I use those then let me know in the comments down below and I can plan that video and get that out for you as soon as possible. So those were the top five books of my English literature degree. Um, as you can see I kind of like a mixture of like classics with contemporary like women's literature I guess. Contemporary hum humorous women's literature. I feel like they're a solid five also I feel like it's not necessarily when I started my degree if you asked me to guess what five books I was going to enjoy most. Obviously you don't know exactly what books you're going to study but I definitely didn't think I was going to get to study texts like Bridget Jones and um, Lena Dunham. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video of me telling you about my five favourite books that I studied as an English literature student. If you're also an English literature student, whether it's A-level, uni, beyond, let me know what your favourite books you've studied so far are in the comments down below. Um, and also please recommend me any books you think I'd enjoy based on these ones that I've got right here. I may or may not have read ones that you recommend but um, I'm always looking for new books to try. If you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.